Welcome to the first episode of Munchies Chronicles. I'm with my man Shady. Uh, we are here in Westwood and we're about to try what is essentially what is rumored around a word on the street is. Did you hear about this? Yeah, I heard it's a pretty nice uh, burrito here. So. It's supposed to be the most firest burrito that you can find in all of Hollywood. Breakfast burrito, I don't know about the rest. So we're about to go in there, try it out and see, uh, see if we agree or disagree. Looks good. Looks like a little nice hole in the wall. It's called Tu Madre. It's uh, it's in Westwood, Santa Monica. Santa Monica and, Boulevard. Yeah, off yeah. of Santa Monica Boulevard. It looks fire. I like it. It's in the cut. Like nice little area. They got a nice little outside uh, sitting area. So it looks like a vibe. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited too. Uh, we're we're smoking on a uh, peanut butter hex. So far, so good, right? Bro, tastes good. Tasty, tasty. So what Bro. this is, is a cut of, uh, of Wave Rider's peanut butter breath, which was like a super, super insane hit at, at, the, uh, at the Pine Park launch party. But what we did is we took a couple of cuts, we took them back to our headquarters, the Pine Park headquarters, and we, uh, we just did a run of them. And man, I tell you, it tastes just as good as the, as the, as the one from uh, Wave Rider. Uh, shout out to my man Drew out there, uh, but Jason uh, took his time with this one and it tastes good. This is up there, bro. Like my favorite right now is the Kim Driver. Yeah, like, I Kim Driver. That's yeah. my morning like yeah. go. But like this right here, this might replace the Kim for me, bro. This is, yeah, I like it. I, like I don't it think anything can replace my Kim Driver for me because <laughs> it's just like my favorite one. Right. But anyway, we're gonna finish this up. We're gonna get in there. Let's let's try some good food. So I just placed the order. Uh, we ordered uh, their their famous hibiscus uh, water, fre agua fresca, mm -hmm. and three chorizo burritos. Let's see, let's see what's up. Yeah, I love chorizo. And burritos. I like chorizo and burritos. <laughs> <laughs> if the chips and like guacamole or chips and free salsa is like not hidden, I feel like the place is going to be trash. Like in my opinion. Yeah. Like, like, I mean, it's places. a good indicator, I think. Yeah. All right, so neither of the sauces are spicy enough for me to want to come back. We'll see if that changes. Try this the chips are gross. That homemade, homemade chips. Thick. Oh yeah, they got a good crisp. Yeah. Salted perfectly, not over salted. Yeah. What do you prefer, red sauce or green sauce? Depends on what I'm eating. Um, yeah, but it's, uh, I prefer spicy sauce. It can be the color of teal green. It can be any color. It can be the, I don't care what color it is, as long as it's the right amount of spice. People think that when I say that I like spicy food, I, I want like a ghost pepper or a habanero pepper. Where obviously that's not, that's not the case. I want to get there without sacrificing the flavor that a salsa particularly has. Whether green or, or red, it's a byproduct of, of its nature. For, for salsas, for me specifically, man, it's like if it doesn't have the right, like this, I can tell you it has way too much tomatillo, mm -hmm. turning a little bit sour, which is not bad, right? Like obviously sour is a, it's a good profile, especially in Mexican food. Um, I mean, how many times do you see people squirting lemon on their tacos, right? Yeah, so it's not, it's not that, it's, it's just not the right amount of sour, in my opinion. It, it, it overpowers the heat. That's the thing about sauces, like everything, every ingredient in sauces work together. So like you can when you, when you get good salsa, you know good salsa because you taste a little bit like a garlic, a little bit of the roasted pepper if they use roasted pepper, or like even the quality of the peppers and everything. Like that's everything. It's definitely sauces. So like this one, this was a good sauce, but yeah, I wish it had heat too. But this is good. It got a good flavor. And what is this? Let's see chipotle mayo. Oh, cool. Chipotle mayo and red sauce and tomatillo salsa. Yeah. All right, enjoy, sir. Thank you. I like how it comes already out, so you can just take a bite right away. Like. I'm worried though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When, when, when people when you try to go above and beyond on the presentation, right. you do gotta be worried. What you what you hide? Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I, I would never ever put chipotle mayo on a burrito ever in my life. But I can't I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. 
that's, that's not serious. Oh. That's fire, yo. Oh my god, that's actually not bad. That's actually pretty nice. I like that. You get hit with like a lot of flavors on that first bite. Mm -hmm. And that guacamole like sticks out crazy. If the guacamole, um, tater tots, which is like a really nice crunch, uh, the chorizo, but I don't see, it's got cheese. I don't see eggs. There's no egg. I got all egg my first bite. Oh, there's mm -hmm. egg in there? Mm -hmm. yep. It's not a heavy chorizo taste though. I haven't hit that part yet. Yeah, you can see it's like layered. Got the egg at the bottom, guacamole on top. Then I think that's the cheese and like chorizo right there. Okay. Pineapple. Yeah. Mm. There's the egg. Yo, that's good. All right, so we just uh, finished the experience at uh, Tu Madre, which is the place where we visited. First impressions. First impressions sitting down, the decor, like it looked good. It looked good at first, but. Uh, what yeah. happened when the food came? Ah, the salsa didn't have that kick. Hex was looking for that kick, you know, the spice, but it didn't have it. Yeah, it didn't have yeah. the, 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 the... Uh, uh, let me start with the positives. One, the food was great. Like, everything was perfect. The yeah. only one thing that was missing was a spicy salsa. Yeah. The, the pineapple habanero salsa they had in the back was sweet, and, but didn't have the kick. Tasted amazing. Everything tasted amazing. It's not there. The only one thing that was missing was like a good, good salsa. If it, if it would have had like a spicy salsa, like a true Mexican salsa, I think that this would have been like a bomb spot. Mm. Overall, if you're not like me and it's like a <laughs> like a, a, a stickler for spicy salsa, like you're gonna love this place. The the aguas frescas were incredible. Yeah, the, were great. the hibiscus yeah. and then the pineapple, whatever it was, yeah. on the second one was delicious. Uh, do I recommend you come here? Absolutely. Is that good? You should come and check it out and then be a judge for yourself. Yeah. Judges and critics are not always going to be right with you. Okay, so don't listen to us. If you want to try it out, you should. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in to the first episode of Munchies Chronicles. Hopefully, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.